Now, it's not often that I would make a claim like this, but this webcam here made by Opal is definitely the best 4K webcam out there, and I want to explain and show you why today. A lot more of us are using things like Team and Zoom and FaceTime calls, and a lot of us want to see each other's faces, and quite a lot of the time, the built-in webcams that we get built into our Macs and our PCs are not actually the best out there. It is true that Apple have basically put like a 1080p in most of their MacBooks now, including the brand new 15-inch MacBook Air that I have here. But as you can see from this quality here, it's not actually the best. But if I show you this webcam here, this quality, well, you can see here that the quality is completely different. And all of that quality is in this dinky little webcam that you've got here, and it is super, super light. And it comes from Opal, and this is called the new C1, and it is absolutely fantastic. The actual Opal C1 is actually made by a lot of different engineers who have actually worked at Apple, Tesla, and even Google. The guys who have created this webcam have shipped products like the Tesla Model 3 and also some Beats headphones too. So for one thing, you definitely know the guys who are creating something like this, they know what they're doing. The camera was also really easy to unbox and in fact, check out this unboxing here. So then, let's see what we've got here. So we have the Opal camera here in its box, nice packaging and everything. So let's just open this up, get started straight away and all the that. Rip that open. It's a nice box. Let's put that to one side. Let's see if it drops open. And there we go. And I have got it the wrong way around, but look at that for the camera. I actually thought this was going to be a lot bigger. So it's really small. So wow, that is quite dinky actually. Oh wow. It's even thinner than I thought as well. Look, that's my finger, how thick my finger is against it. That is really small and it's super light as well. I think um, Opal said this is about 150 grams, so that is super light too. So it does feel really, really um, light, but it does feel like it's got some build to it. So let me just unpackage that as well if I can. Let's get this out, all the packaging off that. And look at that, there we go. So a bit too sticky there, but as you can see, that is a nice build quality. I really, really like that. I also like this water kind of effect. I don't know if you can see that on here, but that feels really sturdy and definitely something solid that could go inside your bag. So I'm guessing this is the camera lens. Oh, that's magnetic. So nice instructions. Oh, and there we go. There's your instructions on how to put it all together and everything. So I'm just going to take this out. Oh, there we go. There's our little harness of things to put over sort of our camera mounts to go over our monitor, our laptop. And there's also some bits and pieces here as well. But going back here, let's open up this package if I know how to open it. Let's get inside there. Oh, there's the USB-C cable as well. So it's USB-C to USB-C. So there we go, guys. That is the unboxing. A nice, simple unboxing to get you started really easily with this camera. And once your unboxing is all complete, it's also really easy. You've got a key here to actually put on like the bottom mount here just to screw up and tighten up what I've just done there. And then basically what this can do, this can balance over your desktop screen or it can balance over your MacBook too. As I've said already, the build quality is absolutely amazing on this. This does not feel cheap. It doesn't feel like one of those sort of 90s webcams that were made out of beige sort of colours. This actually feels like a piece of tech that is designed to work with the most modern tech. So if you have one of those new modern MacBooks or modern Macs out there, this just fits in perfectly with it. One thing that makes this webcam different to other webcams out there is the software that you get with it. So I'm just going to download the Opal Composer, what is the software that comes with this camera. So I'm just going to download that. And once you have the software installed, all you have to do is you just have to go to the little Opal icon up here. And as you can see here, there's a picture of me there. And what we could do is we could start changing around the different types of effects up here at the top. So first of all, we could change like the bokeh sort of feel. So we could change that like, to make it blurry behind us and things like this. And we can prepare all of this just before we actually go on to an actual call. We could also turn on the zoom too. So there we go, much more zoomed in on my face. I don't want it that much zoomed. So I'm gonna cut out a little bit on that one. So I'm gonna leave it about there, but you can see that. And then we've also got other features like face 
face lock looks really cool. So if I move around the camera, it will follow me. The tracking is really good there. But there are other effects too. So we do have like the focus lock as well. If we want to just focus it on my screen, stop things having blurring, but you can see it's automating as I move around here. But we do have have things like other effects. We can apply filters if we want to onto our face and things like that. We could even do touch up as well. So if I've got any teenage spots, what I haven't had in years, but if I wanted to get rid of them, we can do a bit of that. Tone six, and then we can even pixelate my face if we don't want to see what's going on. Maybe again, that's for the better on that. We can fill it out with highlights, things like that. And there's even lots of different manual controls of like on the exposure, the saturation, contrast, all of that great stuff too. And even the vibrancy too. And the great thing is once this is all saved and you just come out of the app, when you open up another say call or if you open up Zoom or anything like that, it will remember these settings so you can have your perfect image ready before you go on the call. And this is what makes this software really unique. And with that, let's move on to my favorite part of this video, and that is actually reviewing this camera in real case scenarios. So this is a test of Apple's latest and greatest new webcam, what's put into the 15 inch MacBook Air. This is how I sound. Do I sound clear? Do I sound a bit muffled, echoey? Let me know um, in the comments below. And now I'm gonna switch over to the Opal C1, and let's see what the difference is there. So this is now me on the Opal C1. Do I sound more clearer to you or do I sound, still sound echoey? How's my face looking? Is it ugly as it usually is? You know, can you see the hairs like around here and everything like that? You can probably see more clarity in this picture, more likely on the Opal C1 because it actually has that 4K larger sensor inside of it. Well, I will talk about the specs about it in just a mo, but you can see that it's absolutely really clear for doing things like zoom calls and things like that so you can see how clear i am on this camera and it does look absolutely spectacular on this screen so just to show you here i am see here's my hand coming over to it and everything it does look super super clear on this and let me just switch over here while you're here to the normal camera what's built into this and as you can see here the quality will change because look at that my tone on my face is much more browner and things like this it's not as clear definitely uh, it does do a good job but i just do it look a bit more blurry and artificial but switching back over to the opal camera you can see here my face is far more clearer far more light on my face too that those low lights are coming out and that is absolutely fantastic built into this camera it's really really good and also the sound quality as you just heard as well is far better on this than the built-in microphones that are into this macbook air what are still pretty good but you can tell they've been really really tuned well up into the opal c1 up here and just to show you guys here with the webcam from the back here on top of my 15 inch macbook air you can see it's not intruding too much on the back it's nice and light it's dead easy to put on from the rear here as you can see here and like i said you've got that nice long cable bendy cables if anybody knocks it or anything like that it's still going to be absolutely fine i absolutely love just in case you didn't know, the best-selling webcam is the Logitech C920. And this is a camera that came out in 2012. And to be honest, it hasn't changed much in over 10 years. And also, if you do want to just disappear off it, you do actually have the cap, what you can see here. And what I can do is I can just stick that over the lens magnetically. And there we go. I've completely disappeared maybe for the better. But the last thing I would say what I am a little bit confused about is with Apple themselves. And that is the quality of this camera that you can see here and then changing it over to the built-in webcam. As you can see, there is a huge, huge difference in the quality of the actual webcam. And, you know, I think it's, you know, this, it speaks the truth here that Apple do need to put a little bit more into that actual webcam. But definitely for the time being, the Opal C1, switching it back here, definitely wins overall and it is a fantastic camera too and just in case you wanted to know it can also easily fit into your bag with your actual macbook air so there's no problems there with carrying it around either so using this webcam as your primary camera for things like facetime or zoom or teams it's just automatic and as you can see here it looks absolutely fantastic to do your calls with 
This webcam is also being used right now by some top celebrities like the Spotify CEO and Chad Hurley. If you haven't heard of Chad Hurley, well, basically he's the co-founder who created this platform that I'm on right now. What is YouTube? And he even uses this. And finally, one other person I'm sure you've heard of, and that is Frodo Baggins. Not the actual person Frodo Baggins, but Elijah Wood who played Frodo Baggins. He actually has one of these and uses this for doing all of his sort of video sort of calls and zoom calls and everything like that too so good on you frodo baggins to have such a great small camera there are also some great backers behind this camera so for example people like marcus brownlee a top tech youtuber out there also like i said the founder of youtube is behind this too and also founders behind twitch instagram and even airbnb so if you have people like that backing this webcam you can definitely tell it's a great great product and also, just one last thing guys, if you did want a black color, that is also available too. You don't just have to have the white color that we have right here. And if you wanna see more information or check out the Opal C1, definitely check out the link description that I'm displaying right here. And like I said, it'll also be in my description of this video too. So do check it out, because it is really, really awesome. And on that note guys, it's also time to wrap up this video. So let me know, what do you think of this brand new Opal C1? Do you think it's amazing? Do you like the look of it? And would you personally get these hands on one yourself? Let me know in the comments below. And also guys, if you wanna hear the latest Apple news, reviews, tech comparisons like this one today, make sure you also subscribe to this channel and also hit that notification bell. Until next time guys, I will see you really soon. Take care, bye bye.